What's up guys and welcome back to another episode of Super Goober Sunday! Koda, what are you up to? How are you doing on this fine weekend? Big and beautiful as always, but anyway guys, what's up and welcome back. We are very, very excited for this week. Chels, what do we have in store? We are gonna do April Fool's pranks on the boys today. That's right! So last week was April Fool's Day, but it was also Easter, so we decided to do the Easter episode on Easter, and now this episode, technically April Fool's Day, really just we're going to be playing some pranks on the boys. Don't worry, they're all harmless, they're all going to be fun, but they're all going to be worth some good laughs. It should be a good time, and uh, hope you guys are ready for what's in store. So let's go ahead and get into the first one. All right, so first up, I bet you guys didn't know Chels could actually disappear. This is the view Cooper's going to have. Let's see it, girl. Oh, that actually looks pretty good. He's going to freak out. Let's go ahead and let the guy in. He has no clue what's about to happen. Skip all the dog toys. Skip all that. Come on. Come up here. Good boy. Good boy. Look at that. Nice. Cuddling on the bed. This is our favorite time. We love naps. We love sleeping. It's like the best part of the day. Good boy. Oh, get off the blanket. You can't be on the blanket, Coop. You're ruining the trick. Over here. <laughs> <laughs> he was pretty concerned there for a second, I'm not gonna lie. He had a confused look on his face, but Come he here, figured it out again. pretty quick. Back do up. it again, do it again, back do it up, again. Here, this time, yeah. use this. Oh, this is gonna be back a good up. one. All right, let's see what happens. What happens when mom and the ball disappears? <laughs> He's like, that's not funny. Where's the ball? Where's the, oh, there no. she is. <laughs> Good boy. <laughs> like, I don't care about you. Give me that back. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Now it's Coda's turn. Now, Coda doesn't go upstairs, so we can't really use the bed. There's not really a good spot we can do it, so we're just going to have me disappear behind this couch. Oh, he just wants to be loved. Get down, oh, get down. Get down. <laughs> I'm here. Get down, get down. No, we're not doing that. Get down. <laughs> he surprised you. <laughs> Good boy, you're too smart. How did you know? Was he concerned at all or did he just know? He like, when you dropped the blanket, he like reacted like you're still gonna be there. And then as soon as you weren't there, he got really excited and started running around the couch. <laughs> <laughs> all right, I guess our boys are a little bit too smart for this one, aren't you? We're gonna have to move on to prank number two. Next up, we've got a couple of pranks that are a little bit more individualized and kind of go after their typical habits and stuff like that. So we're gonna start with Coda here. And whenever we're leaving the house for more than like an hour or something like that, we'll have him kennel up and he goes in his kennel over here. So Coda, hey, Coda, we're leaving, kennel up. Kennel up, good boy. Good boy, good listening. Kennel up, Coda. Good boy. So he goes in his kennel. We close the door and then we leave the house. That's kind of like the, the routine that we've always done. The kennel has always been in the spot ever since we moved in. That's a good boy. So he does that very, very well. But the question is, what happens if the kennel's not there? Go to end the bedroom, buddy. Go with Mario. Good boy. All right, we gotta move the kennel really quick. All right. I'm gonna grab him through this side, through the bathroom, so he's not gonna come out and immediately see that it's gone. Come on, buddy, we're free, good boy. Good boy, come on. We're gonna play, we're gonna run, we're gonna be happy, we're it's free. Woo! All right, Coda, we gotta go. All right, Coda, come on. Coda, Coda, kennel up. We gotta go, we're going, kennel up, good boy. Coda, kennel up. Coda, kill him up. Kill him up. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> Good boy, you kill him up. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> Good job. Good boy. Such a yeah, good boy. You did it. Even though there's nothing there. <laughs> 
<laughs> he went to his kennel. I didn't have the camera on. I wanted to turn it on for you guys. As we were bringing it inside, he was trying to get into it. Good boy. Like that That's the kennel. All right. Here we go. There you go. That's how Good it's supposed boy. to be. It Good boy, worry. buddy. Now for a Cooper specific prank, I'm sure you guys have seen this many times before in videos, but he really, really likes to look out the front window. Whenever he hears something or somebody pulls in the driveway, he'll kind of edge his nose in here and look outside. And so what we're gonna do is the classic ding dong ditch. Now we don't have a doorbell, so there's gonna be no ding dong, but we're gonna knock and we're gonna freak him out and we're gonna try to get his reaction. We're gonna have a camera outside. We also have a camera inside. So uh, hopefully, we get a good reaction. We're out here behind Chelsea's car and the windows are tinted, so we can totally see him. He can't see us. This is so perfect. Is he still out there? Yeah, he's still out there. He's like the he grumpy old man of the neighborhood with like the kids. He's like, who knows? Oh, he's gone, he's gone, he's gone. I'm gonna go this time. I feel kind of bad. I was so mad. I can't wait for you to look at this footage. I feel a he's little like, bad. <laughs> Who knocked on my door? Like, I feel like he needs a mustache and like one <laughs> unibrow. <laughs> All right, I say we go let him know it's us. Hi, buddy. Hi. Hello, good boy. Oh my goodness, it was us the whole time. We got you. You are such an old crank, Coop. And now this is where the real prank comes in. And this is gonna be serious. And I hope you guys act accordingly, okay? What we're gonna be doing is we are gonna be just casually walking the dogs and we're gonna pretend like we fainted or we had a heart attack or something like that. We're gonna collapse to the ground and we're just gonna get their reaction. Hopefully they care. I don't know. We'll, we'll see what happens. In my eyes, Cooper's gonna freak out, start barking, running down the street like old yeller or something like that. I don't know if that's actually gonna happen, but uh, we're gonna do it for each boy with each of us to see if we get any sort of like differences in the mom versus the dad going down. So what do you say? You wanna start walking Cooper first? All right. I'm gonna go hop in the truck. I'm gonna go down to the corner down here okay. and I'll be like hiding behind the truck and you guys just walk by. All right, let's do it, Cooper. All right, so I'm gonna text Chels that we're all good to go and they're gonna be coming from the house down there. Hopefully her GoPro on her head is gonna get Cooper's reaction. I'm gonna try to get a little bit of it too, but we're just gonna be down like this, kind of hiding behind the truck. There she comes, they're right there. All right, hold on, I'm gonna get down. No, you. He does not care at all. Coop, what are you doing? Can I get off? <laughs> <laughs> Did he poo? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's big. Don't step it in. <laughs> That was actually pretty good. That was much better than I expected. I would say that Cooper didn't care, but he literally gave a sh Like he he actually did. He literally did in that moment. Right by my head. I, was, I had my eyes closed and all of a sudden I was like. Just 
wafted in your face. <laughs> oh my gosh, that was that was so good. You're so silly, buddy. You are so funny. All right, so uh, the neighbors across like the street from where we're recording that ended up coming home, and they're like in their driveway and stuff. And it's a little bit weird when you're hiding behind your truck with a camera pointed at somebody's house. So we're just gonna shoot the rest of this in our front yard. We're just gonna pretend like we're leaving out the door on a casual walk and we're gonna try it again. So it's gonna be my turn with Coop and then we're gonna give Koto a shot. I'm gonna give you the camera. Alrighty. Coop, let's go for a walk. All right, buddy, you ready? We're gonna go for a walk, good boy, here we go. Come on, just going on a casual walk. Here we go, good boy. Then all of a sudden, sometimes, you just... If he cares about him and he didn't care about me, oh, I think we might be even, <laughs> literally, only cares about the smells in the yard. That's all I get, seriously. Nothing. I'm disappointed. Absolutely nothing. I thought he was really sniffing for a minute. I thought he was gonna pee on your shoe, and I was so really? ready for it. Oh my goodness! He was I couldn't. Like sniffing and sniffing and sniffing your one shoe, and I was like, yes. Oh shoot! I I honestly didn't even realize that was happening. I couldn't see down that far. But wow, Coop! If one of us is gonna pass out, you're just gonna act like it's a normal day. Literally, you're gonna continue like, doing okay, your I, business. I still you're gonna you're gonna sit and sniff the sunshine and the air and everything else. You can't really sniff sunshine, but unbelievable. Coda, you care more about us. I hope you care more about us than that. Let's test Coda out. It's our turn to go on a walk, okay? You're gonna care more about me, right? I hope so. All right, here we go, buddy. Let's let's go for a walk. Coda, you better care more about me. Oh, there he goes. Cooper, your brother's nicer than you. I can't tell if he's like licking his face or what he's doing. All right, buddy, come on. Good boy, come on. I would say that was slightly better. It still wasn't great. Coda, are you coming? Coda, hey. He's still sniffing the spot. Coda, come here. Hopefully I wasn't laying in something weird. <laughs> I got a little bit more out of him. Yeah, it still wasn't tell, great. Was he licking you? Um, I was watching from up there, but I couldn't we'll tell see, if he was like nosing or I what. Thought, I thought he was sniffing at me, but then he continued sniffing the ground after I left, so I don't know if he was sniffing something in the grass, but it made Rude. me feel like he actually cared. He so, looked like he was licking your face, and when you didn't get up, he looked like he was looking for his friend Zeus next door, is what it looks like. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I got a face lick, but he definitely was like a little bit more involved. It wasn't like, Oh, this guy fell. I'm just gonna sit down and enjoy the breeze. It was yeah. more like, oh, hey, should I should I sniff him up a little bit? All right, cool. So we're gonna move on, and we're gonna try it out with Chels as the walker. Come on, buddy. Oh, sorry. Caught your booty. Caught your booty. Let's go for a walk. Come on. Not a lot of movement yet. <laughs> He's just kind of staring. Do you not care about me at all? We've got some sniffing going on. This is what he did to me. Okay. I'm a little offended. <laughs> I'm offended. Wah, wah. I thought for sure. The way he likes to like lay on top of people when they don't feel good. And the or way just if you're just laying on the ground. Yeah. Like it, when we work out at night, if we're laying on the floor like doing abs or whatever, he'll come over and try to get on top of you and all that kind of stuff. And it makes you feel really loved. But when you could potentially actually be in some trouble. He's like. What's happening down the road? What's happening with this? <laughs> I saw you got a couple sniffs, kind of like I did. A I few got, sniffs. I got like 10 seconds of love. And then it was just like. But it was an afterthought. Really? He kept going, and then he came back and gave me a little like, hey mom, and then he just left again. <laughs> 
unbelievable. You guys are just, I, I don't know, I guess we, we saw your true colors today. If we weren't here to give you food and give you treats and give you head pats, if we just happened to fall over one day, they just honestly wouldn't care. So there you guys have it pranks with the boys let us know what you guys thought if you guys have any ideas of other pranks we could play feel free to leave them down below we are kind of brainstorming it's a little bit tough to come up with pranks that aren't mean-spirited you know what i mean like we we can't be too mean to they these have guys to be health friendly physically friendly right so if you guys come up with anything make sure to let us know drop a comment down below and maybe we'll do like a part two to this series in the future because we had some fun with this also kind of an end note for this video i wanted to give you guys an update on buster the little mini labradoodle that we got my mom a couple of weeks ago so he his official name is mocha i called it i don't know i don't want to say that i called it but i did mocha was my choice 100 so that's awesome shout out to my mom for that but i've got a few little clips of him right here i'll show you guys he's getting a little bit bigger i think he started at like six and a half pounds he's now around nine pounds so he's gained a little bit of weight but he still has quite a lot of room to grow so as he gets older we'll definitely keep you guys updated he was doing better with like playing with coop and coda and coop and coda were a little bit more interested in him now that he's a little bit bigger and can kind of hold his own but uh, i think we're planning on doing a beach day with him soon so we'll see his first time seeing water and seeing the beach and uh, teaching him to swim and stuff like that. It should be a fun time. So thank you guys so much for watching this episode of Super Cooper Sunday. We are gonna see you guys next weekend. Enjoy your week. Thank you guys so much for watching. Drop a like on the video if you guys enjoyed. Peace out.